سرکار جدو کرم شہنشاہ امم صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وسلم نے ارشاد فرمایا من صلی علیہ مرتن فتح اللہ له بابا من العافیہ جو شخص مجھ پر ایک مرتبہ درود پاک پڑھتا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ اس پر عافیت کا ایک دروازہ کھول دیتا ہے صلو علی الحبیب صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وی نیڈ عافیت آلسو بیکاز وی آر ڈوئنگ ٹوڈے دا سلسلہ آن دا ٹاپک حضرت سلیمان علیہ السلاۃ والسلام اینڈ دا قوم جنات سو بیفور وی ٹیک یور کوسچنز آن یور کالز آن سکائپ فرسٹ آف آل لیٹس لسن دا ورسز اف قران مجید فرقان حمید ائیے سب سے پہلے قران مجید فرقان حمید کی تلاوت سے اپنے سلسلے کا آغاز کرتے ہیں اج کا ہمارا ٹاپک ہے حضرت سلیمان علیہ السلاۃ والسلام اور قوم جنات کے متعلق آج انشاءاللہ اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ ہم سمجھے کہ خاص طور پر ہم بات کریں گے کافی سارے سوالات یہ ہمیں موصول ہوئے ہیں لیٹس لسن دا ورسز آف ہولی قرآن بیکاز وائل وین قرآن مجید فرقان حمید از سائٹیڈ وی ہیو ٹو کیپ کوائٹ اینڈ لسن اٹ کیئر فلی قرآن مجید سیز لال ترحمون تاکہ تم پر رحم کیا جائے صلی اللہ الحبیب صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأنه كان يقول سفيهنا على الله شططا وأنا ظننا أن لن تقول الإنس والجن على الله كذبا وأنه كان رجال من الإنس يعوذون برجال من الجن فزادوهم رهقا وأنهم ظنوا كما ظننتم أن لن يبعث الله أحدا وأنا لمسنا السماء فوجدناها ملئت حرسا شديدا وشهبا أمنت بالله صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم الأمين And the foolish amongst us used to forge senseless lies against Allah And that we thought that human beings and jinns will never utter a lie against Allah. And the commoners from among the human beings used to seek refuge with persons from among the jinns. So they increased them in their pride. And indeed, they thought, as you think, that Allah will never raise any messenger. And that we sought to reach the sky, but we found it filled with strong guards and flame shooting stars amantu billah sallallahu alaihi wasallam aaiye sisle ke andar jaisa ki hum ek naat shamil karte hain naat sunte hain inshaallah tab iske baad is mauzu par baat shuru karte hain sallu alal habib sallallahu taala alaihi sallallahu alaihi wasallam sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
محمد مولانا حسن رضا خان علی رحمۃ الرحمٰن کا لکھا ہوا بہت ہی پیارا کلام تمام اسلامی بھائی اور مدری چین کے ناظرین اس میں شامل ہو جائیے مراد مل رہی ہے کا سوالی ہے مراد مل رہی ہے شاد شاد کا سوالی سپ 
so Mufsab, today is uh, our topic uh, which we also announced in previous our silsila that we will do on qawm jinnat and especially about Hazrat Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam and qawm jinnat so the verses of Quran Majid has also been recited what do you first of all say about these verses then we take the actual our topic well uh, ayat were recited from surah jinn yes and uh, the incident of the delegation of jinns coming yes. to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is discussed in this surah that's why the name of the surah is called surah jinn subhanallah I would uh, like to start with our tonight's topic. Okay. The topic is as a Suleiman alayhi salam and the nation of jinns. Yes. Normally when we talk about Hazrat Suleiman alayhi salam The concept of jinns come automatically. Yes. So the thinking about jinns come automatically because of many relationships and many works. Yes. And especially the incident of Ifrit. Yes. Which is mentioned in Quran and Kareem, who is a jinn. Yes. A very bad jinn. Mm-hmm. So when, when you talk about Suleiman and you don't talk the story of jinns, yes. it feels that you have left your talk incomplete. Yes. You know, something is missing in this story. Mm-hmm. So that's why when we, we talk about Hazrat Suleiman we felt you know we should bring up the story of jinns as well to complete the subject. First of all, we must keep in mind that Hazrat Sulaiman is one special prophet of Allah who was given control over many unusual things. Hmm. And there was his miracle. You know, different prophets والسلام, are given different miracles. And his miracles were that he had control over the air. Yes. He had control over the birds. He would speak the language of animals and birds. 
and he had very strong and tight control over the jinns. And uh, he used jinns to do lots of things. He used them for buildings, to make uh, pools, to make gardens, to make roads. Yes. In many projects he used jinns. So therefore, lot about jinns is mentioned with the reference of Hazrat Sulaiman and then how the magic started and how they used to play tricks with humans because they used to work together. Yes. When Hazrat Sulaiman would start a project, he would uh, appoint some humans and some jinns. And at that time, jinns, I mean, the humans could see jinns. Is, is it possible? First of all, here uh, one question also arises that is it possible that uh, a human being can see a jinn? Uh, it's not possible for normal people, okay. but for Ambiya, it is possible to see jinns in its original and asal condition and state. And it is possible for Ali Allah as their karamat Allah. to see jinns in their original condition and real conditions and forms. Allah. As far as the normal people are concerned, jinns appear in the forms of snakes, they appear in the forms of dogs, they okay. appear in the forms of many other uh, species. They can change forms. Actually, one of the categories of jinns, jinns have several categories. One of the categories of jinns can change forms. They can even come in the form of human being. So, that way we can see them, but not in their original form. Of course, uh, Prophet Wasallam see them as it is mentioned in Quran and Karim that uh, if read the jinn, his incident is mentioned. Yes, Hazrat Sulaiman He used to sit in the court of Hazrat Sulaiman and everyone could see him. Yes. And uh, Ulama Ikram have said that every ability which other Prophet Wasallam had Rasulullah also has it. So if Sulaiman could see jinns in their real forms, then definitely Rasulullah can also see jinns in the real forms. And it is also mentioned in uh, the hadith that one group of jinn came to listen to the Quran. Yes. Okay, on, on that particular, there is a discussion. Okay. Some would say he saw them and some would say he did not see them. Mm. It, they only heard kalam from him. But there are other ahadiths which suggest <coughs> that Rasulullah went to their uh, you know, developments or wherever they lived, their homes and spent time with them and gave them dawa towards Islam and so they, they asked questions. Okay. They ask questions like, what is our food? What are we allowed to eat? eat. So Rasulullah told them that any bone upon which the Bismillah is recited, mean that the person was eating, he recited Bismillah on the food and then he threw that bone away. It will become meaty again yes. and that would be the food of the jinns. And the dung of our animals yes. is the food of the animals of jinns. Allah. So therefore, Rasulullah <coughs> has stopped us not to make istinja with the bones mm -hmm. and with the dung of animals. Okay. Gobar, in Urdu we say. 
because Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi said that this is the food of your brothers uh -huh. who are jinns. So your question that you know can we see we we can't see in in their original form, but something very important we should know and we should believe that this consensus of the ummah, the consensus of scholars, sahaba ikram, that jinns do exist. Mm -hmm. So if anyone denies the existence of jinns, yes. he denies and essentials of deen and that leads to disbelief so it's it's very important to believe that jinns do exist okay. jinns are mentioned in quran kareem they are mentioned in many ahadith mubarika so only a person who's misled only a person who's far away from the teachings of Islam yes. can deny the existence of jinns or try to distort the meanings of jinns and try to give another meaning. No. So this is a matter of Aqidah that we should believe that jinns do exist and there is a special creation of Almighty Allah so, huh. and they are mukallaf, they are duty bound they have to believe in Rasulullah sallallahu in order to become believers. Yes. And there are many jinns who are believers. So, so these are some of the, the basic uh, information about jinns. But let's get back to Hazrat Sulaiman Yes. Hazrat Sulaiman used to give tasks to jinns, and they would work together with the humans and uh, it's not that all those jinns who would work on the orders of Suleiman believed in Hazrat Suleiman there were many who were still kafirs Allah. but they were forced to work because Suleiman had control over them so even ifrit I mean yes ifrit means a khabis jinn a very bad jinn but he was still sitting in the court of Hazrat Sulaiman So this does not mean that they were believers. So they had their own uh, wrongdoings going on while they were working. So when they work with humans, they would play certain tricks because they had the abilities to hide and do things and they are more power powerful than humans. And they would show some tricks. And Humans would say, wow, you know, how can you do this? That's very powerful, that's amazing. And they would say, it's very simple. We give you a spell to read, a magic spell. And if you read, you will also get that power. So the people will say, you know, give us that. Because everyone wants to be powerful. Yes. So what they would and do? People are very interested in that type of things. That type of supernatural things. Yes. And so what the jinns would do? They would write few words of kufr, words of blasphemy, mm -hmm. because their intention was to make them kafir, kafirs, mushriks. And when person reads that spell mm -hmm. from a curtain, you know they will come and show a trick. Allah. So people would believe, yes, it's working. Yes. So no, the people started believing that these spells which they are getting, they're powerful, they work. So it started spreading, spreading slowly but surely. Then people started writing and then those writings, somebody would collect all of that and they started forming books. books. And then many books came in the market and uh, it became a big problem. The whole community got involved in magic and magic spells. So that was the order of the day. No. Then 
Hazrat Sulaiman Alaihissalam ordered his minister, Hazrat Asaf bin Barakhiyah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, that please take all those books away, put them in a box and bury them under my member, mm. under my throne. And uh, he did that. So the magic stopped because now they did not have magic have spells anymore. Is. So it was a, a control plan which Hazrat Sulaiman Alaihissalam exercised and that problem got controlled but then when Hazrat Sulaiman passed away then Shaitan came to the Jews no. and uh, he said to them that uh, do you know that what Sulaiman was and what he used to do no. they said no we don't know mm -hmm. so no he was not a prophet and he was not a king actually he was a magician. He used to read those magic spells and it was the, the power of his magic that he controlled the whole world. And those magic spells are lying under his throne. So let's go and, and dig, dig that out. So they went and they dug and they took out that box and they found those books. They were very happy. So they started reading and practicing that spell again and uh, according to uh, the commentators of Quran and Kareem they mentioned that at that time they left Torah they left uh, the revealed book because they got something which they felt is more powerful and this is how they got misguided so this is the story behind you know, how the magic was developed. Uh -huh. And it was actually the work of jinns. Yes. So even till today, where there is a magic, jinns are involved. Uh -huh. what, what the magicians do, they do certain type of uh, exercises, or certain type of readings to control evil jinns. And then they use them to the job for them. Sometimes to hurt someone. Sometimes even they you know, kill people. Sometimes they, they hurt them. They, 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 they break their bones or, you know, assault them or different type of way. Causing problems between husband and wife. That is one of the, the main function to break families. Yes. Cause misunderstandings cause divorces, talaqs and that happens a lot because of magic and these evil jinns. Mashallah, Mufti Sahib has made a very good example of what the jinnat is, 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 what the jinnat is. Mufti Sahib has made a very good example of the jinnat, the jinnat, Mashallah, is very good. Allah Ta'ala has made a very good example. بعد کو سمندر کو کوزے میں بند کر دیا اس میں ایک بات جو ہے سمرائز کریں تو وہ مزید اس طرح سے ہوگا کہ انسان مسلمان جو ہے یہ جنوں کے وجود کا انکار نہیں کر سکتا یعنی انسان مسلمان کا مزکہ میں یہ نہیں کہہ سکتا کہ جنوں کا کوئی وجود نہیں ہے عمومی طور پر دیکھا یہ گیا ہے کہ وہ لوگ جو تھوڑے کوالیفائر زیادہ ہو جاتے ہیں اور جو ہے وہ ایک خاص علم کے اندر ان کی زیادہ تھوڑی مہارت ہوتی ہے تو پھر عمومی طور پر وہ ایسے باتیں کرتے ہیں کہ یہ جن مغیرہ کچھ نہیں ہوتا تو یہ معاملہ جو ہے وہ بالکل غلط ہے تو یہ سب سے پہلے بات مسلمان کو ذہن میں رکھنی چاہیے کہ جن جو ہیں وہ ہوتے ہیں ان کا وجود ہے قرآن کریم میں پوری ایک سورہ جن ہے جس کی ہم نے تلاوت سنی ہے پھر دوسری بات یہ ہے کہ حضرت سلمان علیہ السلام کا جو ہے وہ ذکر خیر ہو رہا ہے کہ آپ کی سلطنت کے بارے میں اور آپ کی حکومت کے بارے میں گفتگو جو ہے وہ ہو رہی ہے کہ آپ کے جو سلطنت کے اندر ریایہ کے اندر جو آتی تھی قومیں ان کے اندر قوم جنات جو ہے یہ بھی ہوا کرتی تھی حضرت سعید بن جبیر نبن عباس رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ سے روایت کی ہے کہ حضرت سلمان علیہ السلام جب تخت پر بیٹھتے تھے تو ان کے ارد گرد چار سو کرسیاں ہوا کرتی تھی جن پر آگے موزر انسان بیٹھتے تھے اور پھر ان کے پیچھے کچھ عام لوگ جو ہے وہ بیٹھتے تھے اور اس کے بعد جنات میں سے سردار جو تھے وہ بیٹھتے تھے 
फिर उसके बाद कुछ आम जिन जो है वो बैठते थे हर कुर्सी के ऊपर एक परिंदा जो है वो हुआ करता था जिसके सुपुर्द कोई ना कोई ड्यूटी जो है वो हुआ करती थी फिर हवा जो है वो उस तख्त को लिए चलती थी और परिंदे उस पर जो है वो साया करते थे तो ऐसे शान वाला जो है वो हुआ करता था तख्त हजरत सुलेमान सलाम का जिन जो थे ये इनके ताबे थे जो काम ये करने का कहते थे जिन वो किया करते थे तो सिरे कुर्तबी के अंदर सुरा सबा की बाज आयात में जहां पर जिक्र है जिन्नात का और हजरत सलेमान सलाम का इमाम कुर्तबी रहमत ने बात जिक्र की है फरमाते हैं कि वो जिन जो कि हजरत सलेमान सलाम की नाफरमानी किया करता था उसके लिए एक फरिश्ता था जिसके हाथ में एक आग का जो है वो कोड़ा हुआ करता था जो जिन हजरत सलेमान सलाम की नाफरमानी किया करता था उसको वो फरिश्ता कोड़ा मारता था और उसका वजूद जो है वो खत्म हो जाता था बार जिन्नात की और भी बड़ी जो है वो किसमें बयान फरमाई है कुतुब के अंदर बाज कहा कि जिन्नात ऐसे होते हैं जिनके पर होते हैं वो हवाओं में उड़ते हैं और बाज जिन्नात के बारे में कहा कि वो जो है वो कुत्ते और बिल्ली की शक्ल में जो है वो होते हैं और बाज जिन्नात के बारे में जो है वो यूं भी आया कि बाज सवारियों पर जो है वो सवार होते हैं तो बहरहाल जिन्नात का वजूद है और हजरत सलेमान सलाम के भी उम्मती थे नबी पाक सल्लाम के उम्मती भी बिल्कुल जिन्नात है इनके अंदर भी बिलीवर होते हैं ईमान वाले भी होते हैं और जो ईमान वाले नहीं ये भी पाए जाते हैं बुकली आपके दुआ कबूल हुई और आपको ऐसी अजीब वरीब हुकूमत और बादशाही अता फरमाई की आपसे पहले किसी को नहीं मिली एक और बड़ी जबरदस्त बात यहाँ पर यह भी तहरीर है कि हजरत अबू हर रदी अल्लाह तो रिवायत करते हैं कि रसुल्ला सल्लाम ने एक दिन इशात फरमाया गुजशत रात एक सरकश जिन ने यह कोशिश की कि मेरी नमाज में खलल डाले तो इससे यह बात भी मुझसे पता चली कि जिन्नात नमाज में ये खलल डालने की भी कोशिश करते हैं तो खुदा वन तला ने मुझको इस पर काबू दे दिया मैंने उसे पकड़ लिया इसके बाद मैंने इरादा किया कि इसको मस्जिद के सुतून से बांधू कितनी क्लियर हदी से बात कि तुम सब दिन में उसको देख सको मगर उस वक्त मुझको अपने भाई हजरत सलेमान सलाम की दुआ याद आ गई और यही वही दुआ जिन जो है वो आपके ताबे है लेकिन आप सल्लाह ने हजरत सलेमान इस्लाम की जो ये दुआ है उसके वजह से जो है वो जिन्हों से कोई ऐसा जो है मामला जो है नहीं करवाया जैसे वो करवाया करते To to keep the respect of of Hazrat Sulaiman Alaihi Salaam in mind. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Uh, something if you share about uh, Jannat or any scientific if you have today. Alhamdulillah, Azza wa Jal. As we had heard, the jinns were subservient to Sulaiman Ala Nabi Ala Wa Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They were under his control. Whether the jinns, whether the followers of the jinns, the modern day satanists, whether they like this or not. The jinns were under the subservience of Sulaiman Ala Nabi Na Wa Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. However, it is very frightening that nowadays how this magic um, has evolved. That it is being promoted on the internet via different media sources as well, yes. where they call this black magic or witchcraft. There's many different names given. It is also called the craft or Wicca. These kind of fancy, fancy names. Essentially, the reality stays the same. That. This is black magic, and this is evil. Mm-hmm. They also call witchcraft 
or this magic the old religion because it dates thousands of years back to Suleiman Ali Salam. Therefore, they call it the old religion and they treat it as a religion. Mm -hmm. People who belong to this are today called neo pagans, uh, like the pagans, mushrikeen, polytheists mm -hmm. of Makkah, how they are suffering in the hellfire. So, too, these are neo pagans mm -hmm. or new pagans that they worship, they engage in nature worship. That is, they, they worship the earth, they worship heavenly bodies or the sun, the moon, mm -hmm. animals, these kind of things. And they try to promote this in different ways. Yes. موسیقی تو وہ تم پڑھو گے تو تم بھی کر لو گے انہوں نے پھر کیا کیا کہ جو ایسے کلمات جو کفریا ہوتے ہیں جو شرکیا ہوتے ہیں وہ سکھانا شروع کر دیئے لوگوں کو اور لوگ پھر جو ہے وہ ان کے پیچھے جو ہے وہ لگ گئے اور اس طرح سے جو ہے یہ جادو کو انہوں نے پرموٹ کیا اور یہ سارا معاملہ چلا آج بھی اگر اپنے معاشرے میں ہم لوگ دیکھیں فضیل بھائی لوگ عجیب سے ایک مخمسے کے اندر شکار ہیں جس بندے کا کاروبار جو ہے وہ ایک دکان ہے سارے میں دوسری دکان ہے وہ یہ چاہ رہا ہے کہ میرا جو ہے وہ مال بڑھ جائے سامنے والا برباد ہو جائے اس کے لیے کیا کرتے ہیں کوئی بابا ڈھونڈیں گے جس کو بابا کہتے ہیں عرف عام کے اندر بابا جی بڑے پہنچے ہوئے ہیں کہاں پہنچے ہوئے ہیں حال دیکھیں شریعت کے ساتھ کوئی جو ہے وہ بندے کا کوئی واسطہ نہیں ہوگا قرآن کریم کی کاف تک سے وہ جو ہے وہ حل نہیں ہوگا ایک بندے نے بتایا جی میں جو ہے وہ بندے مسخر کر لیتا ہوں لوگ جو ہے وہ میں قابو کر لیتا ہوں بھی کیسے قابو کر لیتے ہو تو پھر وہ منتر وہ منتر سنا رہا تھا کہ فلان 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 یعنی وہ جو چیزیں وہ جو کفار والی تھیں جو کفار کے منتر تھے جو آج بھی لوگ جو ہے وہ ان کا سہارا لے کر یہ کفرگار شرکیا جو ہے وہ کام کرتے ہیں بارال جو ایک مسلمان ہے اس کو جو ہے وہ یہ بات زیبہ نہیں دیتی کہ وہ اس طرح جادو ٹونے کے معاملات کی طرف آئے گھر کے اندر ایک دوسرے کا جو ہے وہ حسد کی بنا پر جادو ٹونا جو ہے وہ اس سے پہلے بھی کچھ چیزیں جو ہیں وہ ہوتی ہیں جن کی بنا پر بندہ جو ہے وہ قدم اٹھاتا ہے جادو ٹونے ایک دم سے نہیں کہ جادو کروا دیں کسی کے اوپر یا شیطانیت جو ہے وہ مسلط کروا دیں کسی کے اوپر ایسے نہیں ہوتا اس سے پہلے ایک سٹیپ ہوتا ہے وہ ہوتا ہے حسد کا جب بندے کے دل کے اندر یہ چیز پیدا ہوتی ہے یہ حسد پیدا ہوتا ہے کہ یہ نعمت اس سے چھن جائے مجھے مل جائے یہ برباد ہو جائے اس کی تباہی ہو جائے میری جو ہے وہ واوا ہو جائے تو پھر وہ جاتا ہے اس طرح کے اوچھے ہٹکندوں کی طرف اور کفریا اور شرکیا معاملات کی طرف اور پھر جو ہے وہ کیا کچھ کرتا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ ایسی چیزوں سے جو ہے وہ ہمیں محفظ کرتا ہے سب سے بڑا یہ کہ اس کا ایمان ہی اس کے ہاتھ سے چلا گیا اچھا مصطب we have questions here also one question we have also got on skype from ممتاز علی مرفت that حضرت سلمان علیہ السلام کی عمر کتنی تھی and main we are talking about the about جنات so we say جن 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 what is the meaning of جن کہا یہ جاتا ہے کہ جہاں جنات کی تذکرہ ہو جہاں سورہ جن بھی پڑی گئی تو جہاں سورہ جن پڑی جائے تو وہاں جنات آ جاتے ہیں یا جنات کی تذکرہ ہو تو their jins also come so if you answer this question then we will take the calls also we have to call those well we definitely do have many jin audience right now they might also be enjoying we are educating them as well yes alhamdulillah the madani channel educates everyone Educates yes. humans uh, and jinns. Uh, Hazrat Sulaiman alayhi salam's uh, umar or age was 92 years. 92 years, okay. So, there's another saying as well about 53. Okay. But uh, one of them, you know, 53 or 92. The, the meaning of jinn is to be hidden from the senses. حواس سے مخفی ہونا to be hidden from the senses from the senses that's the literal meaning of word jinn that is the reason that al-jinan is the word for qalb qalb means here ruh not the physical heart actually it is not mentioned because the physical heart is something that can be seen seen yes so, and most of the time in Quran and Hadith, 
the word heart is used but ru is meant okay so that is also hidden so real qalb is also hidden that's why it's called jinnah and also there's something called junna junna like asam junna junna means shield okay because shield hides your body hmm from the attack it covers you that means it hides your body so your enemy cannot attack you and asam junna means roza dhal yeah okay and then then we have another word uh, jannat yes they all from the same root word okay okay and that all... makhfi meaning hidden meaning hmm. is found in every okay offshoot of that root word yes jannat is actually a a garden or a forest which is full of trees so many trees that you can't see the ground subhan like like a rain forest subhan rain forest with a lot of trees you can only see greenery you can only see trees you can't see the ground and if uh, somebody says one time subhanallah yes. he will get the tree in jannah inshallah yes yes subhan there are a lot of trees so hum everyone can get one inshallah inshallah sir and if you got a tree you will go there to eat the fruit of that tree so hum inshallah so sir ami and then uh, the child that's in the stomach is called jinin jinin okay uh is also because it's hidden hidden all these meanings are uh, uh, coming from hidden yes so the jin jin what we talking about is a creation which cannot be seen with the senses which is hidden from yes. the senses okay the father of all the jinns is called al jan that's mentioned in quran e karim he is the father like hazrat adam alaihi salam is the father the of father of human beings al jan that is mentioned in quran e karim that is the father of every jinn so jinns are his progeny they are his nasl i also read in a book that uh, um, a nabi alai salatu wasalam was also sent in jinnat and his name was also hazrat jan alai salam well jan is actually the you know the name okay the name of that category okay uh there is another issue the ulama have different opinions you know oh, whether there was a rasul amongst the jinns or there were no rasuls that inshallah if time permits we'll discuss that okay uh jinn is actually plural its singular word is jinni okay and in english the word is used jinni as it is used in arabic in in yeah. arabic you will have shadda when in english you will not have shadda you say jinni jinni and they, they in arabic you will say jinni jinni okay so that is the, the meanings are same yeah that's okay. the singular hmm. so this is the meaning of word jinn and as far as uh, the other meaning uh, the question is concerned where do they stay Yes, where do they stay? Where are they found? They are found everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere in our homes, in our masajid. We are sitting in now in the studio. They, they can yes, there. they definitely can be there. And uh, watching us. <laughs> they, they even uh, sit in the dars of ulama ikram. Allah. So it's a big possibility that because it's it's a it's a session of learning. Yes. So they could be. coming specially to listen to this silsila hmm. and uh, it's it's not far fetched it's not uh, impossible yes uh, they normally like to live in uh, jungles uh, places where people don't live and uh, islands because when uh, a war took place yes between the angels and the jinns okay just keep in mind that uh, jinns were created 2000 years before humans 
and they were living on this ground and they were fine no problem they used to worship till they killed an angel whose name was yusuf so okay. jinns killed an angel jinns killed an angel oh. yeah then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a troop of angels and iblis was with them and this was 4000 angels that came to fight the jinns and shaitan was leading those troops shaitan was leading uh, the from angels the angels yes allah so he was the the commander allah of the, the army of angels and he fought with the, the jinns killed many jinns defeated them and then chased them into islands and into jungles so from that time their main base or their main home are islands and the jungles no. but occasionally they do come and live in the normal cities of human beings okay. and they come in and out okay. because they can fly they can move easily you can't see them they can see you so mm. and they, they don't have you know physical bodies like ours okay it's more like a spirit mm. so they can walk in any place you know get into any place so they there you know they move around even till today it's established that islands whichever the island might be and you can there are too many jinns there till today okay many islands like i went to mauritius yes mauritius is, is, is an island island, island yes. and the jinn problem is the biggest problem that i found there in mauritius in mauritius oh, oh, oh. and then it clicked you know when i heard from people that there are too many jinns there mm. then this incident you know that they were chased into islands came islands. into my mind and i said yes this is the reason mm-hmm. because this is their base yes. they have been chased to live at these places and now people went there and started living there yes and uh, now islands are beautiful places beautiful. you know they in between the oceans and mauritius is the is and and people place. people these days they go and they you know enjoy holidays mm. and they swim and a lot of other wrong things happen yes, and they get hurt as well because yes. a lot of jinns are there as well and they do the, do their tricks okay now aur kuch sawalat hai but first of all the two calls then inshallah the skype questions sallu ala alhabib sallallahu taala ala muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh से मेरा सवाल ये है कि कुछ लोग कहते हैं कि सुलेमान अली सलाम की कसम अगर किसी जिन्ना को दे दी जाए तो वो हमारा रास्ता छोड़ देता है ये बात कहाँ तक दुरुस्त है रहनुमाई फरमा दे असलाकुम वरहमतुल्लाह वरक बड़ा मौके का सवाल आपने तो किया भाई के सुलेमान अली सलाम का नाम लिया जाए ठीक है दूसरा क्वेश्चन सुना फिर इस पर बात करते हबीब सहम्मद मेरी गुजारिश ये है की अमीर अहल सुनत का ये कलाम है सफा नंबर दो सौ एक बार अफसोस बहुत दूर हूँ गुलजार नबी से ये सुनाजे जजाकमल खैरा इन ये भी कोशिश करते हैं बातचीत के दौरान आपके इस फरमाइश को भी हम शामिल कर लें वेल सी कसम ऑफ अम्बिया अलिया इज नॉट अलाउड इन अवर शरीर नॉर्मली वर है गिवन ए कसम ऑफ समन दैट यू रिस्पेक्ट very highly or you are afraid of such personality yes then you would honor that vow you would honor that kasam okay because the jinns 
are very scared of Hazrat Sulaiman mm. and they are very scared of Hazrat Ghazi Azam radiyallahu ta'ala. Subhan. Subhan. So this is not a shari'i qasam mm. that anyone takes from them. It is about to make them more serious about their commitment. Okay. Yes. Because if uh, a jinn is captured and he has been asked that don't come back, mm. And he'd say, no, I won't come back. Mm. So many of the careful Amelin yes. who do take out jinns according to the limitations and the laws of Sharia, Sharia. they ask them, no, no, we, we won't let you go mm. till you take Qasam of Hazur Wasi Azam And they, they don't want to do that very quickly. Yes. So they keep on reading Wazaif, hurting them, mm. till they say, no, I'm ready. And once he takes that Qasam, they don't come back. Okay. Because they fear Hazrat Ghazi Azam radiallahu ta'ala, they fear Hazrat Sulaiman alayhi salam. So for that reason, it's a diplomacy that is used to get best result out of the situation. But of course, this would not be a Shari'i Qasam or Wow. And uh, there could also be a difference in some rules mm. with jinns uh, in comparison with humans. Yeah. So in every nation, religion, culture, custom, civilization, there are different names for these things. Okay. Sometimes uh, these jinns, they come as a steam and they control the senses of a human being and they would start speaking language that they could never speak you know, yes. in their lives. They don't even know what is that language. Now imagine if, if a person got jinn here, all of a sudden he started uh, speaking Japanese and he does not even know ABCD of Japanese language or mm. Russian language. Or German language, but all of a sudden this person is speaking. <laughs> Engaged in dhikrullah, so these shayateen cannot be attracted towards you. This is a basic principle. I've heard from a great alim deen who's a khalifa of Azur Mufti Azam Hind Rahmatullah that when some people came to him and they said, you know, we got jinn and jadu problem, instead of giving them taweez, he taught them how to do ghusl properly. And then he said, because these people don't know how to do ghusl properly, they stay napak. And when they stay napak, jinns come and capture them because they like napaki. <laughs> Oh, oh.